We've come to expect everything that we want to buy to be as cheap as possible and to arrive on our doorsteps as soon as possible. And why not? We live in a globalised world, that's kind of the idea. Well, this marriage of convenience and low cost is beginning to crumble. And we're seeing it right now with a shortage of semiconductors, computer chips that can fit into the palm of your hand. Among many other things, they're used in touch screens, on your phone or in your car. Apple had to delay its iPhone 12 release. Games console manufacturers are worried about meeting demand next Christmas. And car firms can't make cars quickly enough to the point where that's actually slowing down the entire German economic recovery. So what's gone wrong? Well, some unfortunate one-off events. A deep freeze in February shut plants in Texas, then a fire burnt down another major factory in Japan. Said it will take at least a month to restart production. That kind of thing has happened before. In 1999, an earthquake hit Taiwan. It was one of the world's largest makers of computer memory chips. With factories out of action, prices tripled. What's made everything worse this time around is inevitably COVID. And you couldn't design a worse scenario for global supply chains. First, East Asia was hit, stopping production right at the outset. Then, as the pandemic spread, travel bans disrupted freight, both between and within nations. At the same time, there was a big shift in demand. Last year, laptop sales in the US soared by 13% as people started working from home. And where do most laptop components come from? All that highlighted the brittleness of a process called just-in-time. Firms save money on storing components by sourcing them as close as possible to when they actually need them. Basically, they get the stuff they need just in time. That means cheap goods for us, but a more precarious supply chain with little contingency for things like COVID or for mega containers getting stuck in the sewers, blocking 10% of global shipping for a week. So now organisations and countries are seeking to spread the risk and rely less on any one supply route. Japan is now spending $2 billion to incentivize Japanese firms operating in other Asian countries to relocate back to Japan. At the same time, a wave of populism is eroding the idea of free trade and countries are starting to look closer to home. It's happening now with Brexit and in the US, which is trying to cut its reliance on China and talking up a long proposed deal with Mexico. All that, though, doesn't come cheap. As well as the hassle of relocating, there are potentially higher labour costs. You can be sure this will get passed on to us, the consumer. So it all lands back on our doorsteps. Are you prepared to pay more for goods in order to rebalance global supply chains? Or are you prepared to take the risk that your phone, car or shiny new toy might get held up the moment a pandemic strikes or a factory burns down or a ship gets stuck in a canal? Thank <laughs> you.